This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm taking a look at another note taking app that I use on my Android devices, and that's Google Keep. Now, the good thing about this, well, let me get my stylus. The good thing about this app is that it's just really lightweight, really simple, but it has a lot of convenient features. I started using Google Keep several years ago when I think I was using a an LG phone. I had I had I had been using no, I was using this as my um uh shopping list. That's how I got it got started using Google Keep because it had the little checklist. And it it looks kinda like a little post it note app and that's one of the things I like about it. You can use it for little short, quick notes, or um, you can use it for, for longer notes. Um, one of the things I like about it with this tablet, and for my, my phone for that matter, both of them have a stylus, um, you can take handwritten notes. And the options are pretty simple down here at the bottom uh, you can select you've got an eraser a pen a marker and a highlighter now the options for the pen let's see it you get I guess I can zoom out a little bit now you get some line variation with that and if you press and hold you can adjust the colors you want let's see you have several colors that vary in brightness and vary in saturation and you can choose line width there's the widest and there's the narrowest And that's pretty much all you have to choose from. With the marker, there's no line variation with this pen. Let's see. I'm going to go down. Okay. And with the highlighter, it just, it's a pen that has transparent ink. And you can change the colors on each of these pens, change the color and line variation exactly the same on each of them. It's simple, just a, a nice, not a whole lot of options to overwhelm you, but enough to be useful. Um, let's see what the options are over here. You have different grids you can choose from. Let me zoom in a little bit here. You've got grid, ruled, dot grid, or none. Let's see what the grid looks like. And you can, what I like about this, let's see, if you use one finger, it'll write. If you use two fingers, you can move the page around or zoom in and out. And what I like about this is, well, what I like about this, let me go up to the top. I like to zoom in on my grid because I tend to write pretty large when I'm writing on a tablet. And then when you zoom out, it's, you know, not huge writing. You've got a decent amount on one page. What's well, Let's test this. I like the, when I'm taking notes, I don't really want a lot of line variation. Let's see. In fact, let's see how this looks. And zoom out. And that looks pretty good. You can fit quite a bit on the page. 
you can probably fit even more than that. Let's see what other options we have. And then you can title this. Uh, and put some notes with it. And let me see. And there's my notes. You can, you notice, you can have a checklist, you can have just a plain note, you can have voice notes, or I'll zoom in on that. You can have a checklist, the handwritten notes, voice notes, or uh, a photo. Let me see, you can... Now on this one, yep, you can change the color. And so you can change the color of the note to draw your attention to it. I really like that. I like that better than some of the note-taking apps that have different note, they actually look like notebooks. I like this. You can, um, let me see, you can tag these. Oh, labels. They call them labels instead of tags. You can make as many tags as you want. I've got uh, inspiration. If I see a quote or something or an idea, uh, I'll put it in that. Personal for my to-do lists and everything. Things I want to keep for work. Um, so this is just a nice simple note-taking app, and I've gotten away from it since I've been using my um, Galaxy Note phone. I've been using S Note, but since I got into this just to see what was available, if there were any new features, uh, the handwritten note is new since I started using it, and this I really like this. I like the simplicity of it. So if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.